Mountain Thunder. The name alone sums up the effort it takes to get up the rails of the old Western Maryland right-of-way out of Cumberland, Maryland. For over 100 years, this mountainous grade has seen some of the largest engines of their class, both steam and diesel, struggling to get over this treacherous line. For over two decades, the Western Maryland spirit was well represented from the unlikeliest of sources, a Michigan-based iron ore hauler. With the bulky 280 now exiting service for a federally mandated rebuild, we look back on the route, the tourist operation, and this locomotive in Thunder On 734. The original line was operated by the Western Maryland Railway from Cumberland to Connellsville, Pennsylvania. With other railroads taking easier routes around the Allegheny Mountains, the Western Maryland went up the mountain grades. To say it was mountainous was an understatement, but the line served the trains well. From the early 19th century until 1979, the Western Maryland used its line quite thoroughly operating big steam and a variety of diesels for two purposes, getting freight and getting passengers through the mountains. With the merger of the WMRY with the CNO and BNO to form Chessie system, the steep line didn't take long to become abandoned. However, the famous line wouldn't lie dormant for long. In 1989, the line was reopened as the Allegheny Central Railroad. Power was an eccentric mix of recreated WM diesels as well as a pair of Canadian Pacific 462s. This operation lasted for three years until it was rebranded as the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad and would rebrand themselves with their iconic steam locomotive. The 280 began its life as Lake Superior and Ishpeming 34. Built in April 1916 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works of Philadelphia, the engine was designed to haul iron ore in Michigan. The engine lasted surprisingly late into the 1950s, along with 10 other 280s. In 1992, the 34 went through a rebuild by Western Maryland Scenic. This not only saw the engine return to operation, but transformed to resemble a typical 1930s era Western Maryland Railway 280 H-Class consolidation. The renumbered 734 was fired up at the end of 1992 and entered regular excursion service the following year. It didn't take long for the nickname Mountain Thunder to catch on as the engine storms up the famous Helmstetter's Curve in October 1993. Weighing in at nearly 275 tons when loaded, and with an operating pressure of 200 PSI, the 734 has over 60,000 pounds of tractive effort, more than enough to put on a grand show on these mountain grades. The engine's size, power, appearance, and performance have gained it quite the reputation and fan base over two decades. Many come out each year to ride and photograph the engine on its 32-mile scenic journey through the mountains of Western Maryland.
This journey begins just across the Potomac River in the railroad shops and yard in Ridgely, West Virginia. Crossing the bridge over the Potomac River, the 734 enters Cumberland Station, which serves as both the departure point and the railroad's headquarters. The crowds gather to board the excursions at the 1913 depot, which served the Western Maryland Railway until 1978. Immediately after Cumberland, the train enters the Narrows, a passage between Wills Mountain and Haystack Mountain just west of Cumberland. With WMSR tracks, the river, the road, and the CSX main line, the name is appropriate. The most famous location on the line is Helmstetter's Curve, a half-mile arc through Cache Valley. The location has been popular with photographers since the original Western Maryland Railway days. The curve provides for wonderful views of the locomotive at work from both off and on the train. Shortly after traversing the curve, 734 reaches another iconic location on the line the 918-foot-long brush tunnel. At Parkersburg, with three miles left on the trip, the grade stiffens, reaching 2.8%. This is one of the steepest grades for a standard gauge railroad to see regular service. Frostburg Depot actually sits on the rails of the Cumberland and Pennsylvania Railroad, which was WMRY's entryway into Frostburg. Once in Frostburg, the passengers detrain and are given a chance to view the massive iron horse that just brought them back in time to a bygone era of steam and steel on the western Maryland. 
To get back down to Cumberland, the 734 is turned around on the turntable in Frostburg. Once a classic sight on railroads, today it's not every day you get to see a steam engine on a turntable. The sight draws in many riders, photographers, and locals, but there's plenty of room to go around. After turning, the steep grade becomes easier as 734 mostly coasts back downhill. The engine did this operation three times each week from early May to mid-December. For over two decades, the 734 proved quite reliable and up to the task. But after 23 years of service, time finally caught up to the 280. The engine became due for a federally mandated inspection required every 15 years. Due to the upcoming expiration of the engine's allotted boiler time, as well as limited funding and the unknown circumstances on the 734's boiler, the railroad was uncertain when or if the 734 would be returning. So three fan photo specials were organized for the last few months before the engine was to be pulled from service for an indefinite hiatus. In February 2016, a Lero Productions photo special operated from Cumberland to Frostburg, recreating scenes of the steam era on the WM using 734 and some of the railroad's freight cars. This would turn out to be 734's final trip to Frostburg due to a landslide along the route. In April, 734 would operate for two more photo specials, but the trips would be limited as far as Woodcock Hollow. For now, we'll let the 734 do the talking. Enjoy the sights and sounds of Mountain Thunder on the February and April 2016 photo specials.
The day following the final photo special, the 734 ran two trips on April 10, 2016. One farewell excursion was open to the public. The final run was a two-car employee dinner special. Many gathered in Cumberland to see the 734 arrive in the depot from the Ridgely Yard one last time, a sight which has been commonplace in Cumberland for as long as anyone can remember. Due to the landslide, the railroad could not run the excursions beyond Woodcock Hollow, about the halfway point on the line. To extend the excursion length, the 1 p.m. public farewell trip first headed across the Potomac into West Virginia by the WMSR shop facilities. We see this rare mileage from atop the 734 from a camera placed on the fireman's side of the camera. Now late in the evening, 734 starts up the employee dinner special and thunders up Helmsteader's Curve one last time. One last chance to view a site which has been iconic of steam railroading for decades. We get to see the 734 thunder on. <laughs> <laughs>